Derek Chauvin, who pressed his knee into Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes, was previously charged with third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter. The new second-degree murder charge says he killed Floyd without intent in the course of committing assault in the third degree, according to an amended complaint. Thomas Lane and Jay Alexander Quang, who helped restrain Floyd, and I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try because I'm going to butcher it. The guy at the far left, though. He is the one who stood near the others. We're not, they weren't initially charged. All four of them are now charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder and aiding and abetting second degree manslaughter. Chauvin was arrested last week. The other three were taken into custody Wednesday, which is today, and are being held on $1 million bill county jail records show so i know there's a lot of people that are like why is everybody protesting and stuff you know but you know it seems like justice is starting to be served for george floyd because all of the officers do deserve to be behind bars because they did commit a murder i don't care if their job is being a police officer if they weren't wearing their uniforms and their badges and you see four people doing the same actions that they were doing, they would go down for murder. And that's what they need to go down for. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they wouldn't have held nobody down like that. You know, I really believe George Floyd's race was a factor. I believe it was a factor. The reason why the store clerk called 911 in the first place, you know what I'm saying, on George Floyd, because they said that george floyd had made a purchase at the store cup foods with a fake 20 dollars bill and instead of the store clerk having a backbone and calling him out on it and telling him don't come back to his store anymore the store clerk decided i'm gonna just call the cops now i really and from the the bottom of my heart do not believe george floyd knew that the 20 dollars was fake nobody ever even confirmed if the 20 dollars was fake but why would he pay with a counterfeit bill and then be still posted up around the store you get what i'm saying that doesn't make sense to me so i'm glad that justice is being served you know and i can't wait for them to be locked up and i believe you know when it comes to brianna taylor i'm hope and i pray that justice starts being served for her case as well because those police officers in brianna taylor's case had no business first of all being in her house she's asleep in her room with her man and police officers just bust in you know and they're looking for someone else someone else that is already in police custody and then on top of that her boyfriend had fired a warning shot which evidence has came out that he indeed follow fired one warning shot before police let off so many rounds you get what i'm saying instead of using common sense we just came in someone's house you know and like i what do, like what do they expect you get what i'm saying so anyways the guy fired the warning shot because he felt like it was some intruders in the house he had no idea that they were police officers but technically in my eyes they're still intruders especially if they ain't had no warrant if they weren't even supposed to be there in the first place i'm not saying they deserve to get shot at but what i'm saying is i understand why the dude fired the warning shot you get what i'm saying and for them to sit there fire so many rounds and shoot this girl dead eight times you know they shot her eight times you know i feel like justice needs to be served in that case as well i feel like the in a way i kind of feel like the more you know everybody's protesting and stuff like that but i feel like louisville is trying to hide behind all of this george floyd matt you know his case and they're trying to hide behind all of this madness that's going on with the rioting and stuff 
But no, you can't hide, baby, because we see you. And I see, I've been on social media for a while. I haven't posted anything because I'm an empath, you know, and a lot of things get to me. And I try my best to like control my emotions and stuff like that. But you know, in certain cases, you just can't control your emotions. And I've sat back and I've watched some people say some crazy things. I've sat back, I watched so many different point of views. You get what I'm saying? And I just sit back and just wonder like what made, why do people think like that? What made them say that? You know what I'm saying? Now, one person that has something to say about everything that was going on was, of course, Candace Owens. Because, you know, Candace Owens, when it comes to politics, politics, she's always, you can always expect her to have some kind of opinion. You get what I'm saying? But what I don't understand is why does her opinion have to be so biased? You get what I'm saying? On her profile, her description says free. And I'm trying to figure out how free do she think she is because a real free person could give an opinion and don't have to be biased because of the certain audience that watches them or the certain supporters that they have. You get what I'm saying? Everything she says is biased. Is biased. You know? Now, I like the fact that in her post, she said, in one of her posts, she said that, you know, she was saying, like, um, nobody ever disagreed that George Floyd's death wasn't wrong or whatever like that. And how she couldn't understand what, you know, why the rioting had happened and stuff like that. So I'm glad to see that she understands that, yes, the way that George Floyd his life was ended yes that was that was dead wrong that was wrong but what i can't understand is some of her viewpoints so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna read her post okay so the post that she made on her instagram that i'm talking about she posted videos of supposedly black people even though i've seen white people looting as well but she posted as she said in her caption, black people looting out of some store. And she captioned the photo, this is Minnesota where black people are now looting and rioting to avenge the death of George Floyd. Exactly as I predicted and why I told you not to take the media bait. No one, not a single solitary person defended or excused the death of George Floyd. So why is this rioting happening? Because that is what the media wanted because it's what they have trained us to do since the mid 60s when they married us into the Democrat party. The race riots of the late 60s should serve as a lesson when black Americans began looting, burning and rioting in Detroit and Chicago, the white business owners abandoned those flourishing cities, plunging them into the poverty and crime ridden hubs that we see today. When we riot, we harm no one but ourselves. To all of you morons who couldn't see this coming and did exactly what the left wanted you to do, drumming up the rhetoric drumming up the rhetoric with claims that blacks are constantly under threat and there is no way forward just who exactly did you think you were helping when you said that you destroyed black lives now as always the result will be that black neighborhoods are decimated black people are arrested and black families are impoverished while white liberal politicians will stump on our issues pretending to be our shoulders to cry on they will tell us it's because of systemic oppression and we will believe it and repeat the same bs again every four years the truth is that we do this to ourselves we allow our black youth to be programmed by a satanic media that tells them that they will never be anything and life will never be fair so they might as well laid lives of anger and crime our inability to think 
through emotional tragedies is our biggest curse and the Democrat Party's biggest blessing. But I'm a coon, right? Well, I must be a coon with a crystal ball since I keep accurately predicting exactly what will happen every election cycle. You want me to show some compassion? Why don't you show some brain cells and stop allowing entire generations of our black youth to be rotted by the white by the racist white liberals that own and operate the mainstream media. Why don't you blex it? Now, I'm not going to disagree. I do believe that when these things happen, you know, especially during the election year, I feel like the media, that's when they really shine light on it. I don't feel like police brutality just happens around election times. I believe it happens all year long. But I feel like they sh really shine light to it during election times. So, you know, we can, you know, get scared or whatever and run to the polls and vote Democrat. I do believe that to a certain extent, the Democratic Party does use it to their advantage. But at the same time, how do you expect people to act? You get what I'm saying? How do you expect people to act? Because what they're not really realizing is, okay, you don't want people to vote Democrat just because, but at the same time, your president don't really know how to freaking speak to people. You, He has not yet been in the streets to calm people down. He hasn't once ensured the black community that he was gonna try to put a stop to racism to police brutality or anything like that all he says is what once the looting starts the shooting starts all he does is threaten the military within the community so you're sitting here you're like this is what the left wants you to do but at the same time the right don't really know how to speak to people and i'm not going to say that the left all the ways always do know how to speak to people because Look at Joe Biden recently, how Charlemagne asked him, what are you going to do for the community? And Joe Biden said, huh, if you having trouble picking between me and Donald Trump, then you ain't black. What does that have to do with what you're going to do within the community? But what you got to understand is no matter if people wake up right now and be like, I'm going to start voting Republic. What you got to understand is election year has to happen. The election time all it has to happen. So every four years, yes, expect for the media to finally shed light onto police brutality. To try to get those Democrat as many Democrat voters as they can. It's not gonna stop. No matter if you know, people be like, I'm not going to um, just vote Democrat. I'm going to change my ways and try to vote Republican instead or whatever the case may be. Police brutality is not going to stop. I don't understand what it is. that where, where are you even coming from? Because you're saying it like if people don't get upset and, you know, people don't always vote Democrat and stuff like that. Police brutality is going to stop. See, this is why people are really upset. People are upset because of the police brutality. Okay? And they're going to be upset no matter if they vote Democrat or Republican. Like, what is you saying? I, I, don't, I don't get what she's... I don't... I really don't get what she's saying. I don't understand, like... Are you saying that if people, if black people or people of what y'all call minority start voting into Republican, is the police brutality going to stop? Is the racism going to stop? Or is we still going to have to deal with police brutality? Or is we still going to have to deal with racism? Because right now, that's what we're trying to deal with. We're trying to deal with racism. We're trying to deal with the police, the police brutality. Okay. Yeah, some people might run, vote Democrat or whatever the case may be. But what you got to understand is before black people ever could even vote, racism was going on. Yes or no? Racism was always going on. So obviously it's not going to stop no matter what people vote for. Why is that? And like, I don't get it. You get what I'm saying?
No matter if somebody vote Democrat or Republican, it seems like slavery, I mean, not slavery, it seems like racism is not gonna stop. And that's what people are trying to, you know, see change in. The police brutality, the racism. Why, why do people care about who somebody vote for so bad when the issue is never gonna end? Yeah, once the new election happens, you know what I'm saying? Once the new election happens, it depends on what the media want to show. They might want to show the KKK, you know, having um, conferences or whatever they call it, those little meetups. They have that all year. Just like when Donald Trump first got into office and they decided to shine some light on KKK, you know, having rallies and stuff like that. They do that all year long. <laughs> okay? All year long. So, of course, when the after the election happens, our new president is chosen. Yes, we're going to hear about either KKK rallying or we're going to hear more about police brutality. Okay? But trust and believe after four years is up, we're going to hear it's got like things is going to hit the fan again, just like the last time election happened and Donald Trump was going into, um, well, it was between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And then all, all those people ended up passing away, you know, getting shot. It was video after video of black people getting killed. I'm like, I get what she's saying when it comes to, yes, the left. They use it for their advantage, okay? I get what you're saying. But even if people do wake up and say, you know, I'm not going to give them what they want. What is we going to do about police brutality and about the racism? Because voting Republican it ain't going to change that. Let's focus on that before we focus on what somebody do with their rights. It's their right to go and vote for whoever they want to vote for. Do the media kind of pick for them? Yes. But at the same time, these are grown people that can choose to or choose not to think for themselves. And if they want someone to think for them and they want to go out, or maybe they are thinking for themselves. Maybe they are, you know, consciously aware or know, hey, I'm going to go vote for this person. You know what I'm saying? Either way. Is not going to, racism isn't going to stop. Even with back in the day before the 60s, like back in the 1920s and stuff, when all of our ancestors were voting for Republicans, right? All of them were Republicans. They were business owners. That's when Black Wall Street was a thing. And look what happened to Black Wall Street exactly one year from the other day. When they came and they literally tore down all of our businesses, were they not Republicans and that happened to them? So I don't understand what you're saying. Are you going to sit there? Are you going to speak up for racism and for the police brutality? Or are you going to still be stuck and concerned about who somebody vote for? Because let me tell you something, no matter if, say, for instance, all the black people, each and every black person decides, hey, I'm going to, you know, start voting Republican. I'm going to become a business owner. I'm going to get off of, you know, not not all black people is on welfare like the media try to make it seem. But the ones that are, you know, they can stand up and be like, I'm going to get off of welfare. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to live the American so-called dream. Racism isn't going to stop, okay? And that's with this rioting, the protest, and all that stuff. That's what that's about. It's about the racism and stuff like that. Now, if the media want to sit there and use it to their advantage, then oh well. You get what I'm... <laughs> oh well. But at the end of the day, racism and stuff, it doesn't seem like it's going to stop. So who somebody vote for, is that really a big issue? Because at the end of the day, it seemed like police brutality is going to happen. I mean, it, Rodney King was just, you know... 30 years ago he got that happened to him the same year I was born I'm sitting here 30 years old and I'm sitting here making a video about George Floyd about Breonna Taylor about Alton Sterling about Philando Castile about so many other people that have got killed due to police brutality wow what do you think is gonna happen when I'm 60 <laughs> you get what I'm saying it doesn't matter who somebody vote for 
what are we going to do about the police brutality and the racism? Another thing that I've noticed when it comes to some of, I mean, something that really is irritating my soul is, is certain YouTubers, certain people, you know, and I hate to say it, black women, um, feel like we shouldn't be fighting for George Floyd. And it's not even because, it's not just because he was engaged to a white woman. But I believe even if he wasn't engaged to a white woman, I, you know, it's just the fact that we should not be fighting for George Floyd or for any black man for that matter. You know, I noticed since this happened that there is like a division within the black community. And of course, I've already realized that it was a division within our community because, you know, you have so many black men saying, well, I don't date white black women, blah, blah, blah. And so many black women say, well, I don't date black men, black men ain't this or whatever the case may be. But I didn't understand how deep and how scary it was getting until all of this happened. And it's getting to the point where black women don't feel like they should fight for black men when something, you know, if they're getting killed by police or anything for that matter. Like, what does that have to do with us in a sense, you know? And, un and honestly, I can kind of understand it just because black women do face a lot of disrespect from black guys when it comes to them always they can't just date outside their race they have to tell you why they date out that side their race all the time you don't even have to ask they would just blurt it out i don't date black women because black women this and black women that and blah, blah 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 as if like they're still hurt or something like that because honestly that's the only time i think somebody will really speak up about something without somebody asking them because they're low-key hurt about something they low-key haven't healed for what from whatever it is that they've experienced so they decide to keep saying it over and over and over like somebody care i get that and i get that you know with chris brown it coming out that he only dates certain black women he don't like dark-skinned black women and kodak black saying he don't like um black women all these people saying they don't like black women and you know stuff like that I get why there's some black women that's like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck them. I ain't got shit to do with nothing that's going on with them. I'm going to stay my ass in the house, mind my damn business, and eat my fucking food. You feel me? <laughs> but it's like at the same time, I don't believe that we should have that kind of hate in our heart. Or start to have that kind of hate in our heart because let's face it when we come from that energy from that low vibrational energy it has to be something there like I'm angry I'm pissed off I'm hurt and you hold on to that and that's not good D are we disrespected F hell yeah we are you know do we seem to get justice right away when something bad happens to us? No, I'm living somewhere now. I'm living near somewhere now. This girl was killed by the police. She wasn't all the way right in the head out in Hopewell, Virginia. Name Angel. But anyways, um, she tried to rob a store, so they say. So, um... She walked off, the owner called the cops on her, and the police swore up and down that she had a gun. Swore up and down she had a gun. Did I, the girl didn't have a gun though. She didn't have a gun. And you know, they shot and they killed her in her back. And then laid her, you know, just left her to lay dead in the street for like five hours. You know, and her mother is out there still trying to get justice for her today. Do I believe justice would have been came if Angel just so happened to be a black man? 
fuck yeah. I believe the, the whole city, I believe the whole city where she got killed at would go up in flames if it was a black man, you know? But at the end of the day, that's not going to make me be like, have some kind of hate in my heart, you know? Because for number one, black women are always disrespected by black men. And for number two, we don't seem to get justice when things happen to us. No matter if we're raped, no matter if we're killed by police, no matter if we're killed by somebody random. It just don't seem like black women get justice. You know, just like Malcolm X said, black women are the most disrespected in the world. But what I'm saying is it's not good to sit there and have that kind of hate in your heart. It's not it's not good it doesn't attract good karma i mean it's just not good it's not healthy you know when you have that kind of hate balled up inside of you and you just mad and you know <laughs> it does a lot to your organs you know anytime you get mad or feel some type of way feel take a minute to realize where you're feeling it at because that's the area that's getting affected the most you know all i'm saying is yeah black women we do get done wrong but don't just turn your you know just don't don't just turn away from everything that is happening in the world you get what i'm saying and don't just shun black men because honestly nobody's perfect and i'm not making excuses for them but at the end of the day our the higher power our maker look at us every damn day and watch us make do the stupidest things everything he said don't do we do okay he he can cut the lights off on us anytime so all i'm saying is we're not god are we done wrong yeah but i'm gonna nobody on this earth is gonna make me hate anybody nobody on this earth is gonna turn me cold and i'm always gonna choose love i'm always gonna choose light i'm always gonna choose peace and if something is wrong then something is fucking wrong you get what i'm saying what happened to george floyd is wrong what happened to brianna taylor is wrong what happened to angel is wrong you get what i'm saying and i don't give a fuck what happened nobody can turn me cold okay i'm gonna continue to protest i'm gonna continue to fight for justice for <laughs> black men black women anybody that i feel has done wrong no matter what color they are so those are really the two things that i i just had to get off my chest and i know this ain't no flashy videos of a bunch of clips and stuff like that and i don't have i'm not reading off a script i'm just speaking from my heart right now but i felt the need to say what it is that i had to say i just had to get that out you know i really don't understand what um candace owens is coming from when she's always saying you, she make it seem like if we was to change our ways and start voting Republican, everything is gonna change. Racism is just gonna fade away. Police brutality is gonna fade away. You know, like that's the way she makes it seem. And she has to understand our ancestors already did that. <laughs> they were already Republicans. They had they had businesses. What do you think the Black Wall Street was about? Why do you think that the that the Democrats back in the day used to call the Republican Party the end? party fill in the blank now if, uh black people you know what in mean like why do you think that and then they still knocked our buildings down and stuff like that they were still racist towards us poor black men used to get jealous of you know business like wealthy black men and used to break into their houses and stuff used to used to kill them used to hang them all types of stuff so what like i'm not understanding what Okay, if everybody was to be like, you know what? I'm getting off the Democratic plantation. What's going to happen? It's still going to be racism going on. It's still going to be police brutality. That is the reason why people are protesting. And when it comes to the black women that's like, you know what? Fuck black men, blah, 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 blah. All I'm saying, baby, is don't have that. Don't, don't let this world turn you cold. Even when it comes down to these damn men don't even let them turn you cold okay if something is wrong 
you I ain't saying go outside. I ain't saying taking no take no bullet, none none of that tear gas, none of that stuff. I, that ain't what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is don't have that kind of hate in your heart because it's not good. It's really not. You know, it's not. And God watches. He sees everything. You be like, you know, you look at this other man. You be like, I fuck him. Um, you know, blah 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 blah. The next thing you know, years later, it's your son. You know, we have to watch because a tongue is a powerful thing. We have to watch the energy that we let out into the world because it's, it, it can come back. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want, you know, some other women be like, ah, oh, fuck your son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck him. Come on now. But anyways, um, that's all I really wanted to say. Sorry for the long video. If you made it this far, you is a real one. And um, that's all. Peace. <laughs>